and I am back. Here we go. I told you I was going to talk about warm-ups. I'm going to show you, demonstrate uh, a warm-up routine that I recommend. Uh, I think you should take at least five minutes every day to warm up. Um, it's a good idea to take some time to cool down as well, but I'm going to leave that to you, let you figure that out. If you need suggestions on cool down, let me know because I can provide those. But warm-up, super, super important, especially on leg day. The other thing, water. Drink your water. Don't neglect it. You'll be sorry if you did. Uh, I recommend having water with you during your workouts. Um, drink plenty of water afterwards throughout the day. Uh, I can give you some recommendations on proper hydration. You know, the whole thing. But what I'm going to do is show you a basic little warm-up routine. First thing you want to do is just get moving. So. Everybody can do that. Everybody can run. You maybe not run as fast as I can, but you can run. So run in place. Do that for about 30 seconds, followed by jumping jacks. Did you know jumping jacks are named after Jack LaLanne? Jack LaLanne is like the godfather of all home fitness. When I was a kid, Jack Lane was on the TV every morning at like 5.30, 6 a.m. And actually as a kid, I used to watch him go, God, that guy's cool. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm a big fan and I like jumping jacks. Um, so you wanna do like 30 seconds of run in place, 30 seconds of jumping jacks. And then I'd like you to work a little bit on your mobility. So how's that gonna look? Like this. These are called hip rotations. Go from the inside out, each leg. Do that about 10 times on each leg. That'll loosen up the hip joints. Then you need to work the other direction on the same joint. Um, this one you might need a chair for. If you have a chair, hold on to it. Swing your leg. 10 each side. Then you want to go the other direction. Kick it out, bend it, kick it out, bend it. Again, 10 each side. Okay, so that'll take care of the lower body for the most part in terms of warming it up. Then you need to warm up your upper body. So one of the ways I like to do that, a little bit of arm rotation. Little arm circles, just little circles. Do that for about 20 seconds and go the other direction. Then, once you've done that for another 20 seconds, point fingers down and make the circles bigger going backwards. Ah, oh, and listen to that joint go crack. And then swing them forward. Simple as that. Now, how do you, now that you've got kind of the blood flowing a little bit. You want to do a little bit of stretching. Um, I recommend you do your upper body first. Um, so put your arm straight out, put it in front of your chin, pull it in, hold it here for 10, 15 seconds, 20 seconds. Do the other arm, arm out straight, or in a fist, and use the opposite arm to kind of pull that shoulder. Another thing that's really, really good to do is you do a reach over. And if you can look up there, you'll get a little bit bigger stretch and do that on each side for 10 to 15 seconds. Another way to approach this one, or another thing to do, I should say, is clasp your hands in front of you like that like that, and actually you want to clasp them, I don't know what I'm thinking, cross them over like that, and try and rotate your shoulders in towards your chest a little bit, that'll stretch this out back here. Do that for about 10, 15 seconds, and reach back, clasp your hands behind your back, and straighten out. 
That'll get the, the shoulders nice and loose for you. Um, then you want to stretch out your, your legs. There's a couple of stretches that I really, really like. Um, obvious one is the quad stretch. Just grab your foot. And here's the important cueing note. You want your knees to be together. You don't want your leg out like this, and you don't want to be up like this, or you know, all screwy. To just pull that back and hold that for about 30 seconds on each side. Um, and then, to work on your hamstrings, this is a fun, 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 silly stretch that you can do. You can laugh at yourself while you're doing it. It's called the polka stretch. Polka stretch, you step forward on your heel, reach down, step back, reach down, step back, like you're doing the polka. Once you've done that, you're good to go. It's time to work out. Okay.